Welcome to Google Scholar in a Nutshell. You know, you can do basic legal research with Google Scholar. The one thing you can't do is shepherdize. Nevertheless, you can look up judicial opinions from around the United States as well as scholarly articles. Simply navigate to the Google homepage, go to the top and select More. Scroll down that drop menu to Scholar. By default, Articles is selected. Thus, you need to go to the right here and select Legal Opinions and Journals. Once you do that, put in your search term. If you know the name of the case, that might work. I'm going to put in State versus Kelly. Now that's a landmark case that allowed the battered woman's syndrome as a defense in a criminal case. Let's see if it comes up. State versus Kelly is the first result. If I click on State versus Kelly, the case is there and it can be copied and pasted or downloaded to your computer. Make sure you look on the right here and select Remove Highlighting so it removes the highlighting on your search terms. Let's go back to Google Scholar and use a different search term. This time I'm going to use battered woman syndrome. I'm going to hit search and the first result again is the New Jersey Supreme Court's landmark decision in State v. Kelly. And again I'll simply click on that and now battered woman syndrome would be highlighted. I'm going to remove that highlighting. So you can search by key term or case name. Now let's take a look at another way to search. We'll go back to Google Scholar and now I'm going to put in a citation. I'm going to put it in quotes though. The citation is 84 and J88. And by putting it in quotations I will only get that particular string. I hit search and I get the case I'm looking for. Another landmark New Jersey case about negligent infliction of emotional distress called Porty versus Jaffe. And there's the case. I remove the highlighting and as I said a moment ago you can copy and paste this. I am scrolling down and selecting the entire case. Right click, select copy and then you can paste it in a Word document if you choose to make a printed copy. Now I'm going to show you two additional research strategies. We're going to search again 84 NJ88 as if it's our original search. When we get our results, we can filter those results right here where it says Scholar. By going to this drop menu, you can select Articles Excluding Patents. By doing that, you get any articles that mention 84NJ88. Another way would be to put the term Porty versus Jaffe in the search engine. And as I scroll down, you'll see a number of articles that mention that case and its citation. And if there is a law review article where there is a PDF that you can download on the right hand side, it'll tell you that that article is available for free. Here's a Seton Hall Law Review article. I click on the PDF and the article is available online for free. Lastly, I'd like to show you how to use Google Scholar's Advanced Scholar Search. Right here on the Scholar page, select Advanced Scholar Search next to the search button. And there you will have a number of search fields in which you can get granular with your search. You can narrow it down and filter it consistent with your needs. Now before you begin your search, you have to scroll to the bottom of the page and select the database that you're interested in. You can search the opinions of all federal courts, New Jersey courts, or even other specific state courts. So I hope this was helpful and good luck.